The City of Greater Sudbury is conducting a review of the Parks, Open Space and Leisure Master Plan that was established in 2004. Now, 10 years later, we are developing a new master plan that is going to take us forward for the next 10 to 20 years. In order to develop the draft plan to present the Council on June 16th, City staff had an online survey that was done by about 500 local residents. They've conducted a series of public meetings uh, across the city. I attended the one that was held at the Howard Armstrong Recreation Center on May 13th and I had a chance to look at the results of the survey so far and take a look at some of the uh, parks and leisure trends that have been identified by staff. There were some very interesting results from the survey and, and it's it's important to notice that out of the 500 people that participate in the survey, about 90% of the participants took part in walking or hiking for leisure during the last 12 months, and about 88% of the participants felt that walking and, and uh, leisure and bike trails should be given one of the top priorities. I prepared a report that's on the website under the election issues section in uh, the Valleys Today website at valleystoday.ca and you'll be able to find the the report on the link uh, within you know right below this this video I would suggest that you have a look at it take a look at the charts take a look at the results and see what kind of interpretation you get because it seems as if we're in the middle of a transition right now we're in the middle of a shift and that shift is starting to move from the traditional activities that we've, we've seen over the last few decades to activities that are more in line with health and wellness, activities that are more family-oriented and social-oriented, and, and they involve outdoors, and they involve community gatherings. And there's a shift to the kind of activities that do not present financial barriers to participation. So we're now starting to see more people and even young families start to shift more toward activities where the entire family can get involved. It's at low cost. They can access these activities uh, according to their own their own schedule because they all have busy lifestyles. And we're starting to see a, a decrease in the people participating in organized activities that force them to follow a schedule and force them to um, to be more of a spectator than a participant. Very interesting, especially when, you're, when you take a look at the budgets and you take a look at what the city is going to have to do over the next few years. The city is going to have to start focusing on improving walking trails, improving public beaches. Uh, on improving neighborhood playgrounds. There seems to be another push toward uh, developing this neighborhood community focus where the, the neighborhood playground becomes a, a gathering place, a place where people can walk to and they can meet their, their neighbors. So it, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting study and I'm, I'm very anxious to see what kind of a draft proposal that the city prepares for council on June 16th. And I, I would encourage people to look at this, look at the charts that were presented. If you didn't have a chance to get to the open house to, to get to the meetings, you can go to the website at valleystoday.ca, go into the election uh, 2014 section, have a look at the charts, have a look at the report that I developed. And if you have any thoughts, any uh, suggestions, send them to me uh, or send them to the city. Because I think this is this is a a very important study that they're doing, and I think you're going to see uh, leisure and parks and recreation take a whole new approach over the next ten years. Very exciting time indeed.